Hey there, welcome back. So we are going to do some uh, more practical conversion that we're going to need in order to do packet and to interpret packets. Uh, so uh, what we're going to what we're focusing on here today is some uh, uh, hexadecimal to decimal conversions uh, of individual bytes and nibbles, and we're also going to look at um, uh, hexadecimal to binary because we need that to do some of the flags as you remember from the IP header right some of the flags are um, uh, in, for individual bits so we need to be able to interpret the bits and to pull them out and look at the specific bits uh, in a uh, starting with a hexadecimal value so uh, to start out let's let's just throw some uh, hexadecimal numbers up here and I'm just pulling these off the top of my head so it doesn't really uh, doesn't really matter what you do. I usually, when I do it, I'll include some uh, alphabetic characters in there. Usually, just because it makes it easier for people to, uh, you know, get used to the because that's the, those are the unusual ones we're not used to. Uh, so the key thing to remember is that this is going to be the 16s place, right? Ones place. 16s place. If we're just interested in these as individual bytes, then yes, this is the, if we do it the same way we did the uh, binary, right, put them in a box, you got the ones place, the 16s place, the ones place, the 16s place. That's if we're interested in the value of the individual bytes, okay? I'm sorry, the value of the individual, yeah, the value of this byte, the value of this byte separately, right? So this is the 18. This is B16s, right? With binary, we just had to pull the number down if there was a one here, because that's all you could really have. So if it was a one we, and there was a one here, then we brought down a one, right? Um, if there was a two here, we brought, it, brought down a two, because uh, it's a multiplication, but in binary, everything's a zero or a one. Here, uh, these aren't just zeros or ones, right? A B is a what? It's an 11. Right, it's a value of 11, right? A is 10, right? Goes up to nine, nine is nine. Uh, a is 10, B is 11. So this, is, this value is 11 times 16. So, um, you know, you're just gonna do that on a calculator. You're just gonna do it on a calculator easy enough. I'm using the calculator on my phone uh, since I can't throw the calculator up on the screen while we're, uh, while we're recording this way. Um, so easy enough, right? 11 times 16, 176. Okay, so the value of this place is 176. So the value of this byte is 184. The value of this byte is 184. Right, so if this is a uh, uh, part of an IP address or whatever, the value of that byte is 184. This one, same thing. Three. A, like we said, is 10. Fortunately, I can multiply 10s in my head pretty easily, probably so can you, right? A is 10, 16 times 10 is 160. 160 plus three is 163, right down here. Um, so 163 is the value of this byte. 184 is the value of this byte. And that's it. Um, that's how you, how you calculate the value of a single byte uh, with hexadecimal. Now, what if, that's not what we're after. What if this is a value that is two bytes long, right? There's plenty of fields in your IP header, your TCP header that are two bytes long. One field is two bytes, so we need to be able to calculate this whole thing as a single, uh, a single decimal value. So if this is the ones place, this is the sixteens place, what's this place going to be, right? So the way this really works is, this place here is 16 to the zero power. This place is 16 to the power of one. This place is 16 to the power of two. This place is 16 to the power of three. That's what these really are. 16 anything, really anything, the power of zero is one. Okay, so 16 to the power of zero is one. 16 to the power of one is 16. That's easy, right? Uh, then you get to these others that require a little bit of calculation. Again. Use your regular hand calculator, don't need a programming calculator. 16 times 16 times 16 is 256. I knew that in my head, right? But I didn't know 16 times 16 was 256, but I knew this was the 256th 
place, right? Now, 16 times 16 times 16, you just have to multiply that again by 16, and you get 4,096. Um, so this is the 256th place, this is the 4,096th place. Um, 256 times, so this, this, so doing this value, this one comes out the same way, right? 8, 16 times 11, I'm not a robot, I have to calculate it, 176. Um, memory's not what it used to be, right? Uh, and this, so this value is 184. This one, calculator again, 256 times 3. 768, 4,096 times 10. Uh, fortunately, I can do times 10 in my head, even with big numbers, right? You just add a zero to the end of it, right? So it's 40,960, and then add those up. I'm gonna make it easy on myself and just do it on the calculator. It's 41,000. 728, and then I have to add the two bytes together. Right, this is the value of this byte, this is the value of this byte, I'm going to add them together since we want the value of the whole thing. And so I already have this value in my calculator, so I just add 184 to that. And the total for the whole deal is 41,912. Bing. Right? No problem. Um, pretty easy, two byte value, hexadecimal, that's, that's not a hard thing.